Hello friends, so we are here with models. Now today we have marginal model there. We are in there. Now what do you mean a marginal model? We have been doing pure models like can, could, may, might, so that then should, would. We have been doing that. Now when you come here you say this marginal model by but before that, you should know what is a model, isn't it? Yeah. So model means a model verb. Model verb. And you have got the few in number. It's a closed set. Means no. Once the set is closed, you don't have. You don't allow entry to that. It's like a room, a closed room. You have got few members, then you close it. Your other members are not allowed to get in. So like that, models are like a, a closed set. And within these models, you have got a, you have got pure models, you have got marginal models, and also you have got the semi-models that we will see later. Now, what is the difference between a model verb and a main verb? Or what we call principal verb? Principal verb. You can see eat, drink, these are all what we call principal verbs or main verbs. See that? Drink, uh, sing, sing, then uh, catch. These are main verbs, principal verbs. And these principal verbs, they have got all the five forms. And they are inflected. Another, another term for you, inflected. I-N-F-L-E-C-T-E-D. Inflected. Inflected means they change their form according to the subject. Understand that? So for example, we say, let's say eat. Say, I eat. Okay. All eat. I, I, we, you, then. Uh, you, plural, they. Or you can say eat. But when it comes to he, she, it, or third person singular, it is eats. So this marker, tense marker as we said, this is known as inflection. Inflection. So that means an inflection. When you say you are inflecting your verb, inflecting. Inflecting. When you are inflecting a verb, that means the verb changes according to the subject. That's the meaning. Understand? It's. And also, it has got all the five forms. Like, you have got the infinitive to eat. Okay? And then we have present eat, present third person eats, past eight. A past participle eaten, a present participle eating. So you can see one, two, three, four, five. This is the infinity form or the first form. So all the principal verbs, they have got five forms. Understand? They have got eat, that is simple person, eat, simple person, third person, then eight past tense, eaten. Past participle and eating present participle. Understand? Now you can see, you don't have say take can. Let's say take can. So can is not inflected. This is just one example. Example for pure models or models as such. So this is not inflected. He can, she can, it can. I can, we can, you can, you can, they can. You don't say he can. We don't say no. So we are not inflecting it. You understand that? So you don't say can't. Doesn't change according to the subject. That's one thing. Secondly, you can straight away add not to this. Not. And also contract it. He can't. You cannot add not to this direct. I mean, if not, you cannot say. For that you need the Help of do or does simple person and uh, 
pastance, you have to you have to take the help of ditch. Otherwise, you cannot make it negative. But in this case, it is not like that. You can just uh, cannot and also can. And all the models, except for example, except I told you, may and might. You cannot contract with the uh, negatives. You don't say may. May you don't say. Also, yeah, that is the thing. Otherwise, all the other models can easily be contracted. Now, another point is subject verb inversion in questions. For example, you have got, uh, he eats. He eats something X. Question will be. What will be the question? You cannot say eats. He something. You have to take the help of do. But if you say he can, he can. Can he? He can invert. See that. Can he? He can do it. Can he do it? Did you, did you get the idea? First, the point is that it is not inflected. Second, not can be straight away added and also contracted. And third, you can, there is subject verb inversion for questions. You understand that? Now, these are some, what I must say, that points that you should remember when you, when we discuss models and also principal verbs. Understand? Principal verbs, they have got all the five forms and uh, they, that means they are inflected. Here, the Models are not inflected. He can, we don't say. You say he can. Right? Yes. So, like that is. And the subject will be inversion and so on. Well, he can, here, he'll see you have to bring in, you have to bring in what? Does. Isn't it? Or if it is past tense, you have to, what have you to do? You have to take the help of did. Without that, you cannot say. But, here we say marginal models, that's about pure models, I say. marginal models, there is a point to remember, that is, this bear can, can act as a model and also as act as a principal model. That's why it's called a marginal model. As a model, as a model, it has got all the characteristics of pure models, as a model. For example, not inflected. See, see you can say. He dare. You don't say he dares. He dare to say. Listen, he dare. You don't say when you see he with dare, that means this is a model. Understand that? Yes. So he he dare not, you say. He dare not say it. So with the negative. One restriction or one limit is usually dare as model is used with negatives and for questions. So dare as model, dare as a model. Dare as a model has a Restriction, or you can say limit. What is the limits? One, it is used with negatives, means not. And two, it is used as a model. Interrogatives, interrogative, interrogative means simple means questions. Questions. For example, and subject will be interesting is allowed there. He dare not say it. Sir, my question will be, we can also say, uh, dare he, dare he say it, see that, sir. dare he say it, it's okay, possible. So you again use it as for negative and also for questions, understand, do you understand that? Yes. So that is way, but it can also be a main one, in that case it is inflected, for example you say, he he dares. He dares. So here it is main verb. That's why it is inflected. He dares. He dares to do it. 
And that means what? He has got the courage to do it. As a man, man, he has the courage. He dares to climb the third floor of this building. See? He dares to catch the thief. And then in that case, negative will be, he does not dare. He does not dare. See that the point. As a principle verb, it is inflected. Means there should be endings. For the, the ending will change according to following their dare. They dare. You dare. But he dares. She dares. It dares. It is as a principle. That's why we say marginal model. Marginal model means it can act as a principal verb as well as a model. When it acts as a principal verb, functions as a principal verb, it is just like any other principal verbs, like eat, drink and things like that. This is inflected. If you want to make questions, negative answer, he does not dare. He does not, they do not dare. They did not dare. You have to say like that. Understand? That is about principle. And then the meaning is also changes. The meaning there will be he dare means courage is enough. He is, he has the courage. He has the nerve to do it. That's the meaning. But as a model, see there is we can say, it is one, one, uh, one meaning is asking advice. Advice. So that, for example, it's a, you say like this, no? I advise, you can say, dare I tell her? Dare I tell her? That means, should I tell her? Dare I? If you say like this, the, the main meaning is, or the basic meaning is, advice. You are asking advice to somebody, somebody's opinion, so to say. You are asking somebody's opinion. The basic meaning is, see, if you say, basic meaning is advice. Basic meaning is asking advice. Asking advice. If you say, there I, there I tell her. Means, there, there I tell her. That means, what does it mean? That means, should I? Should I tell her? Here that means, should I? Should I tell her? If I say, what will happen? Should I tell her? So then, should I, dare I tell, dare I go to the principal? Should I go to the principal? Dare I? Understand? Dare I go, dare I meet the sup SP, superintendent of police? Should I go to the superintendent of police? Superintendent of police. Understand? Dare I shut this door? Yes. Should I shut this door? Advice. So advice, not the other way around. Principal will be, I have the courage. Yes. See, I dare to challenge Samson, but I have the courage to challenge Samson. That's it. I dare to uh, fight with Hercules. I have the courage to fight with the, uh, I dare. But here it means, uh, dare I go to the teacher? Somebody is asking, dare I go to the teacher? He said that uh, the teacher asked me to meet, meet him today, but dare I go to? Dare I go to? Should I go? If I go, will I get a, <laughs> what is that, a beating? Understand, dare I? See? Dare I go to the market? Should I go to the market? That's the advice. So dare I means, there it is. Or is it, I dare not do it. I dare not do it. Dare not. Then it is, what is it? Then it is the model. When he doesn't dare, then it is principle. So, I dare not tell her. But that means what is that? It's like I, you, or say, you dare not tell her. You dare not. You dare not tell her. That means, dare not here means must not. Must not. You must not. 
It's an extended meaning you can say that is admonition. Admonition or advice. Admonition or advice. You dare not tell her. You must not tell her. You should, you should know. See? You, you dare not tell her. Miss, you should not tell her. You must not tell her. No, 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 no not now. After someday. Suppose you get a bad news, there's a wife. And you get a bad news that eh, he suddenly met with an accident and you know about it. Then you are asking your friend. Your friend says, go and tell her about it. And he said, I, I dare not tell her now. I dare not tell her now. Let, the, the, let, let's wait for some time. Otherwise it will be a great shock for her. That's all. I dare not tell. Means they must not tell. You dare not tell. Means you should not say. No, you should not say no. Suppose a student expecting first class, first try, he failed by mistake. <laughs> Understand? By mistake, he is not on the list. Then the teacher knows about it. Mm. Then he said, they are not. You, and he, he tells the other students in the class, you dare not tell her or they about this result. You, do, you dare not tell him about the result. Means you should not tell him because it will be shock. Revaluation. Sometimes he will get the two ranks instead of one. <laughs> Understand? Two first ranks, not one first rank. So don't tell her now. That is, you dare not tell her. That is not courage, but it is, you must not. You must not tell her. Admonition, advice. You are giving a kind of advice. Understand? You dare not. You dare not fight with your parents. You should not fight with your parents. They are nice people. You dare not fight with the strangers. You should not do that. Admonition. So when a stranger quarrels with you, don't go and fight with him. Understand? You should run away. That's better. That's why I always do. When some stranger comes to attack me, I will run away. That's better, you know. After all, why should you fight with people? Yes. Then another uh, meaning is impossible. Some, an impossible situation. Impossible situation. For example, you see, I dare not tell my mother. Yes, I can't. I dare not tell my mother. I dare not tell my mother. Means, that means I can't. I can't tell my mother now. Because my results are very bad. So, I, mother will ask me, what about the result then? I can't tell her now. Means, I am, other, I dare not tell her. Means, I can't. Impossible. <coughs> Understand that? I can't. So, uh, then also you can say, he dare not make a speech. It's impossible for him. He dare not. Remember, he dare not. That means it is uninflected and therefore it is a model. But if you say he dares to, then it is. So that's why it is it's marginal. Be careful <laughs> with this word. It can be. Then when you find that it is, it can. It is contracted with the uh, negative, and it can be inverted. For example, uh, dare he? Uh, he he dare dare he? Questions questions. Understand? He he dare to tell. You cannot say he dare to tell because normally what happens? I told you, you know, for positive sentences, affirmative sentences. Positive or affirmative means the same thing. Now, positive sentences usually you use there as a principle. Okay. It's not anything difficult. Just look at the form, that will be all right. Okay, so you dare not tell her. I dare not tell my mother. Means I can't tell my mother. Impossible situation. So, dare, remember dare, dare is a marginal model. That means it is, it can be a model like can and could and also it can be a full verb like uh, eat and drink understand as a more as a full verb it is used in affirmative these words are good to learn this affirmative affirmative or you can say positive sentences means sentences without negative no, not that's all or negative meaning well, hardly and so on. 
It's a negative meaning. I hardly know him. That is. That is a negative meaning. Forget about the don't get to worry about all those things. And uh, modern learn, then you have a basic meaning is asking advice. That's what you said like that, no? Direct di direct her. Would it be alright to tell her? Direct her. See, there I go there. It will be all right to go there. Suppose, you see, for an example, you said like that. You are, there is a bet. Your classmates and you, there is a bet. Your classmates said that. If we can go exactly at 12.30 to a cemetery alone, without torch, then we will give you uh, 50 dollars. That is a good amount, yes. Or is it 5,000 rupees? Then he will be asking his friend, there I go, there I go to the cemetery. Because there is a, there is a general belief, you know, this, in the cemetery, all those people buried there, they will get up by 12 o'clock. <laughs> in Macbeth there is that uh, expression, you know, witching time of the night. What is this witching time of the night? The time when witches come out, the ghosts come out of their graves. It's a nonsense. Nothing of that sort. Once you are buried, you are buried. That's all. So there are superstitions that just don't worry about this. Understand that? Do you understand, do you, do you understand that? Yes. So, where are that? There I go to the cemetery. Means, should I go to the cemetery? For getting 50,000 rupees. You can go without any light or torch or any help. Just walk as if you are walking in a Maidan or a playground. That's all. Nothing to worry about. Yes. Yeah, there you are. So, that is, there I go. See that? So, that means, should I go? Advice. And then you have the second meaning is admonition. See, you can't tell her. Oh, sorry, you dare not tell her. That is equally equivalent to you can't tell her. You dare not. You should not tell her. See that? You should not. Dare not tell her. That's it. You can't tell her. I told you know that the situation. Or you see, you get a tell you get a now you get a message from your friend that your friend is in uh, in the ICU. There is some problem. And uh, you are asked to convey this news to his mother. See? Then what will you say? You will say, what do you will say? You will ask uh, advice. You will ask advice. Or, uh, or the other person will tell you, uh, you dare not tell uh, his mother. Then, you dare not tell, uh, tell this to his mother. Because that will be a shock to him. Let's go and find out what, is, what actually has happened. And then after she can go and tell her. Understand? Yes. And also the next meaning is impossible. And in this case also you can say like that. No? See, I dare not tell you. It's impossible. I can't tell this. Such a bad news, I can't. Sometimes what I'm doing, if the news is bad, then the messenger will be beaten. So be careful. You, you take this news to someone, then you are the messenger. And if the news is very bad, then they will catch hold of you and beat you, beat you. Because the reaction is like, can come like that. So, they are not tell. You dare not tell. Understand? So, once again, my dear friends, this is model, marginal model means it can function as a model as well. As a model, it is used only in questions and in negative sentences. As a full verb, a main verb, it can be used in the, in, in positive sentences. In that case, it will be inflected. And you will have to take the help of do and does and did etc. for adding not or negative, making it negative. For example, he dares, he does not dare even. He does not dare. He dares. Then, does he dare? That will be the question form. Understand? What? Does he dare? That will be the question form. Did you, did you get convinced? Or? Yes? Okay, once again. Let's see. Dare is model as well as main verb. Model, just like any other model, not inflected. Means the ending does not change, but as a main verb, the ending changes. That's all, it's very simple as that, yes. 
So the basic meaning is asking at this. See? Directed, dare I go there? Dare I go there to the cemetery for 5,000 rupees? They, dare I go there? <laughs> you know, the admonition. You can't tell her. You dare not tell her. No, dare not. Is it? Now there is an expression in English, I dare. I dare say. I dare say. That is an expression. I dare say means not that you are saying anything, but it means perhaps. 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 I dare say she may come. I dare say she will come. Means perhaps she will come. Perhaps she will come. He said, no, perhaps. Not sure. Perhaps she may come. I dare say I will get married next month. Perhaps. A lot of other things should be there. First I have to get a, I have to find a girl, then um, I have to s a, a good bank account, <laughs> or a good job, like that. So I dare say, means perhaps. Not that I am saying anything, but perhaps. I dare say it will rain. I dare say it will rain. Perhaps it will rain. Perhaps it will rain. I don't know. Sure, I am not sure about it. Perhaps it will rain. I dare say. So that is an expression. That is usually uh, in, in what do you call uh, in your informal, informal, not formal. In formal situation, you cannot uh, go to the principal's, uh, principal's room and say, "I dare say I will come tomorrow." <laughs> Understand? Perhaps I will come tomorrow. Yes. So uh, then, what will happen is then you have to use this there as a principal word. Understand? Then the, princi the principal will use it as a main verb. Understand? That? Do you dare to uh, tell me like this? Means, have you got the courage to tell me like that? Then it becomes a main verb. Do you dare? So, you dare not? That is uh, what we call a moral verb. Okay. Is that clear? In the regarding that? No, I don't, I don't think in English you have got any doubt. Of course, you can ask me. I have no objection. I will explain this once again. Okay. Until our next explanation, till we meet for the next explanation. Bye.